One more time. Say again, go back here in the clinch, or excuse me, in the striking realm. Okay, I, I decide I don't want to take any more shots. I get into the clinch, I go for the body lock, and now we're here. Okay, I pick that leg up, I'm pushing. Take him right to the mat, get my control nice and tight right here. And then if I can go upstairs, I will. If he clasps my arm down, I can't, I'll pull it out and get head control. We on? Yep. All right, teach me grappling. What's up? I'm Brian Peterson. I got Jonathan Solar here, and we're here to show you another move. Um, tonight, guys, we were doing MMA night. <laughs> MMA night, which means we do jujitsu with our MMA gloves on. We don't have them on right now, but we put them on, and then we simulate strikes while we do jujitsu. I suggest all of you guys try this out every once in a while. It's going to bring some realism to your jujitsu, your grappling. It's going to make you guys better. So not all the time it's good to work on your jujitsu without uh, strikes so that you develop confidence in your movements and then bring in the striking every once in a while to see if you can pull off a triangle while somebody's swinging at you. So here we are. We're going to be doing a takedown tonight because it was MMA night. We were doing takedowns and talk about realistic takedowns. I know all of you guys out there, I, I get comments all the time. They love the realistic takedowns. In a wrestling match or in a jiu-jitsu match, guys get in our stance like this. You know, we, we get down here, we shake hands, and then we go, or actually, sorry, jiu-jitsu, we bump knuckles, no. we, we slap and bump knuckles. Okay, so guys, when you're here, you're not gonna be like this in a street fight, you know, setting a guy up from here and going for little singles. I mean, it's theoretically possible but let's be honest, if we tie up like a, like a jiu-jitsu match, a wrestling match, there's going to be knees to the face, and uh, it's, it's just not happening. So what's realistically going to happen, we're going to start throwing punches, and then through the, the struggles, we're going to get into the clinch. We're going to be in the, the, the body lock position. He'll swim an underhook if he knows what he's doing, and we'll be in this over-under. We'll be here. This is much more common. Or you're going to see headlocks. You're going to see stuff like this, you know, here. All the clinch work. So you have to know takedowns from the clinch, not just your standard wrestling, grappling, jujitsu stuff. But that stuff's good too. So we're gonna get in the clinch today and we're gonna do a single leg and we're gonna do a foot sweep. So here, basic on foot sweep, guys. I wanna grab the object. Right now it's my opponent. I wanna pull like this and then sweep. Show me that, John. That's beautiful, do that again. All right, good. So you're taking him to the right as your right foot sweeps. If you look at right here, uh, Brian, you can see the inside of my foot, this is where I'm gonna make contact, okay? So I get into the clinch. We're in the over-under, okay? Obviously in a real street fight, there's gonna be knees going on to the thighs, to the body, punches, to the ribs, all that stuff. He could back up and try to hit you in the face. He could try to elbow you, things like that. Sure, all that's there. Real simple technique, watch this right here. I'm in the over-under, I have my underhook here. Mm. I'm gonna reach down with this hand right here. I might pull to make him step, okay? And then when this leg gets close enough, I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna grab it. I may be looking for a knee pick. So a knee pick was where you would lift the underhook and try to run him over. But instead of the knee pick, I'm gonna end up picking it up like this. Real simple movement, see that? Now watch what I have. As my opponent hops to keep his balance, I have a leg and I have the underhook. Now his shoulder is in my kind of like my chest near my throat. I can't really make a double leg. And if I just push into him, I can't run him over. See that? He's hopping, he's keeping his balance. Yeah. If he had poor balance, I could just knock him over or I could do a trip either outside or possibly inside, okay? But this guy kind of leans his body over, and what that does is it prevents me from doing these kind of trips like this. Okay, you see that? So I'm pushing into him, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step my left foot, and then I'm gonna pull this lap muscle, make contact, and bring him right to the mat. You guys notice where I landed? Right here in side control, look at my knees. Right here, his hips are facing the other way. 
He still has an underhook, and I have one here. But now I'm, I'm in side control, basically. And then a great follow-up would be like, throw my right punch all the way over right there. It's not a real punch. I'm just saying it's like a punch. I throw this over in order to get his hand there. And then you can feed into a nice gift wrap, get some control. Okay? So here's this technique again. Okay? I get into the over-under. Okay, we got into the clinch. I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna grab this leg. Checking almost like I'm trying to do a knee pick, but he won't give it to me. I'm pushing, he's resisting my double leg, he's resisting my trips. I'm then gonna change direction. Instead of my energy going straight that way, I'm gonna step to the side and I'm gonna pull him. Taking him right to the mat and getting my control and side control. Boom, bring this arm all the way up, punch it over. That way he can't turn back into me. Grab that gift wrap. You guys are in a great position right now to go to work. Okay. Sorry about that, John. Okay. So, one more time. Say again, go back here in the clinch, or excuse me, in the striking realm. Okay. I, I decide I don't want to take any more shots. I get into the clinch. I go for the body lock. And now we're here. Okay. I pick that leg up. I'm pushing. Take him right to the mat. Get my control nice and tight right here. And then if I can go upstairs, I will. If he clamps my arm down, I can't, I'll pull it out and get head control. If I can't, if I can't make him do this, he's too strong for me, I'll pull it out and I'll get up here, okay? So really, really important technique. You guys, for the night, this is gonna be the move. Tomorrow I'll give you guys another one. Um, so right here, over, under. Okay, last time, I go here, I pick that leg up. I'm trying to run this guy over, but he's resisting. I take that energy, step, and then look at my right foot. You can move around the line. See, make contact. You can't see it, it's blind. Right now, I can't see it, but it's right there. So look at that, boom, boom. At the same time, pull this. Pull this violently. Run into him. Take him down, mount him, get your control, and then go to work, okay? All right, I think that's it. John, do you have anything to say about this? No, it's a good move. Yeah? We'll go over tomorrow with the... Uh, yeah, yeah, That'll yeah, be a yeah, really good yeah, one. We'll yeah, save yeah. that one we'll for tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. one tomorrow. With um, the, uh, the, what do we call it, the flipper or the pry? Yeah, with the little thigh pry right there, a little flipper. And then, uh, so we'll tune in for tomorrow for that one. Um, last thing I wanna say, we did this tonight, and we have students that have never done it before. And it's crazy. I think three guys pulled it off tonight in the live training. So they got into the clinch, and that's all they did tonight. Boom, they hit it. So um, that's it. I think that's it. Maybe a little sneak peek of the uh, concept of the jar opening. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, guys, this is the fundamental movement you guys want to learn about this. Here. Pull the lap. Pull the lat, and then with this hand, I can do different things. I can push the elbow or the triceps here. I can also slap this lat and twist, okay? I'm pushing in the jaw, he pushes back, I twist. Push in the jaw, twist, okay? The guy clears the wall, John's trying to shove me into a wall. Boom, boom, I go up against the wall. He snatches my legs up, and he picks me up and slams me and dumps me and kills me. All right, so what am I supposed to do? If you guys feel the guys pushing you, whether it's a professional MMA fight in the cage or if it's on the street, if the guy's trying to push me into the wall, see how I turned him? And then I got him against the wall. Now it's my turn. I throw the punches to his ribs. He drops his elbow. Boom, because he's trying to block. I get down in there, pull him out, lift him up, and finish him. So you need this skill right here. One more time. John's trying to push me and I'm going to go back and up. Back and up. I try to turn him this way. That's the normal way. Everybody tries. But it's the harder one because he's heavy on my underhook. So when I can't turn him, go ahead, push. And you don't let me? Yeah. That's how I do it. Turn him in that way. Now I'm going to work here. Knees, punches, and so on and so forth. Was that enough? That was good. You want me to give more? No, that's good enough for tonight. Okay, no more. Tune in tomorrow. No more. <laughs> no more. See you guys later.
Thank you so much. Click that link down below at Patreon and PayPal. Um, just yesterday I had a video where I was talking about donating, you know, and contributing to this channel. And boom, everybody's like dropping money in. It's pretty nice. So thank you guys so much for all of you guys out there that contributed just yesterday and today because of yesterday's video, just tell, letting you guys know. So thank you so much and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Keep it going, Brian. Hold on, let me try. You want to? This will be just extra, like maybe yeah. outtakes. You want to do try? He wants to practice here. Very good. You got the single leg? You got the single leg? Put that single leg. Oh, even just the turn. The turn. You did good. You forgot the foot sweep though. Let me get one with the foot sweep. That's right. One with the foot sweep. Whoa. Oh, sorry. That was good. That's all right. It's your first time doing it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you guys. Over and out.